nice jump. Committed run. Fingers go up. Little smile as well. That's a lot of confidence. That's the feel it, Chris. You, you feel you can do it now. And it's such a convincing clearance that maybe there's more to give today. Definitely. Claxton unable to call clear at 1.6. A little laugh. Zero. A little laugh as she comes away from the from the, from the jumping area. Uh, hippity hoppity run up, stuttering, and therefore that doesn't create the platform for fine jumping. Chiana Paul now at 160. She's a 165 performer at her best. Knocks it down. Trinidad and Topeco athletes, the two best. I'm trying to figure out what's happening here because I thought Tanique Vincent had gone clear at 160. So I'm left a little bit confused now, to be honest. Here is McMaster. Yeah. First attempt at 1.60 for her, and uh, she doesn't go clear. Looks like lots of height, but in front of the bar. So when she's coming down from peak height, she is uh, coming back through it and knocking it off. So maybe a little touch of run-up issues here for McMaster. The bar goes higher. There's Sanego, Sanogo of Martinique. 1.60 meters, her personal best. So I think what we saw earlier was a recap of her 155 effort. Let's see what she does at 160. No, doesn't go clear first time. So bang on her personal best now. This is the Ketishan. Jasara Claxton. What can she deliver? Yeah, had a spotty run up the last time. Changed her marker and still not comfortable. An attempt at 1.60 meters coming up for Jazara Claxton of St. Kitts and Nevis. Never looked comfortable with that attempt. Decelerated into the takeoff. And that is always a recipe for disaster. Yes, and uh, goes back to coach to get some more advice. But at least that one was smoother than the ones before. I think at this stage, that everyone just needs to take their time and take the pressure off of their shoulders. Yeah, Gianna Paul of Trinidad and Tobago. Bar at 1.60. She is very much capable of going clear here. But can she? Another pressure moment for the Trinidad and Tobago national heptathlon champion and she's handling the pressure brilliantly today that's, that's another clutch clearance from Gianna Paul and the 2022 bronze medalist keeps on sailing in Nassau what can you do for me today that's the big question of track and field it's not about what you do in practice or last year it's what you can do right now when all the chips are on the table big clearance 
Now, Tanique Vincent at 160. She's a 170 performer. She's already gone through high jump today with the under 17 final. Now she's back in the hip. Yeah, gets it done. Whatever you can do, Gianna, I can do it too. And the Tritmagonians are both clear at 1.60. Nice looking jump as well, gathered herself and cleared by some margin. That's what you would expect of a 170 jumper at 160. Matt Master, British Virgin Islands, knows the pressure is on. Matt Master doesn't go clear, third and final attempt. So her best 155, personal best effort. But unable to improve on that mark. But she does well. The field being whittled down at 160. Kaylee Sanogo of Martinique, 160. That's her personal best. Can she go clear? Third and final attempt coming up. Needs this. Doesn't get it. Doesn't get it, Sanago. So she exits with a best of 155. Will clear 160 on another day. Felt like she had her peak height in front of the bar and was coming down from it when she was just passing by. And uh, that'll be no consolation for her today, but in practice when she goes back home, she can work on clearing higher heights. Claxton, third and final attempt coming up for her. No. Had it all wrong. And 155 is where she exits as well, failing to go clear at 1.60. Gave it her best, but at this height, uncomfortable from the beginning. Very much so. So the two Trinbegonians clear at 160. I think we also saw Samaya Connell of St. Vincent and the Grenadines go clear. Connell equaling her personal best at 160. The St. Vincent and the Grenadines of Tathlon record holder, 23,958 points. Connell to win their Carifta trials on the 5th of March. And now she is with the big two in the closing stages of the Tathlon high jump for girls and that's the whole hallmark of the heptathlon and the decathlon do your best in all events once you do that or come close to it you've given yourself a chance to get a maximum performance out of your body nice 736 points for clearing 1.60 meters Let's see what the next height will be. At 165, they're looking at 795 points. Juicy bonus for clearing. Every height matters. In the Aftathlon. In the multi-events. New height. Vincent doesn't go clear first time. We'll she's get confirmation jumping, of the height shortly. She's jumping in front of a small group of her countrymen and women who are still in the stands, blowing their horns, keeping her on point, and making her know that the country is still behind her in the high jump. Definitely. 1.63. The bar has been raised to. Here's Connell, the Vincentian record holder. Oh, that was close. Thought for a second she had it. A little bit untidy. That height was there for the taking. First attempt, 163. She's turned up in good high jumping form here. Equaled her personal best already. 
And no looking for the additional points to give herself a shot at a medal in this septathlon event. She'll be thinking about at least getting over the 4,000 point mark at the end of this competition. Here is Gianna Paul. Third attempt at 155, third attempt at 160. This is her first attempt at 163. Her lifetime best, 1.65 meters. Paul bounces up to the bar. Touches it, but it doesn't matter, it stays on. And after issues at 155 and 160, she clears first time at 1.63. And the 2022 heptathlon bronze medalist sails on in 2023. Feeling good now. First time clearance at this new height, 163, and uh, puts pressure on her teammate and all the other opponents. Vincent knows she has this height as well. Tenif Vincent has already done a lot of work today 100 hurdles at Tathlon high jump on the 17 girls final unlike last year when she got a silver medal she did and now she's back in the high jump for the Tathlon open and she misses second time of asking work for Vincent to do no snapping those legs in the run-up hurdles high jump on the 17 high jump here made those legs a little bit tired just maybe Connell of St. Vincent and the Grenadines had a really good attempt. Had a really good first attempt. This is her second attempt. Oh, wow. She Guys was eight. miles over that. Yes, Ricardo pulls everything together. A zippy run. Slam that foot down to make the takeoff and... Uh, Yes, it's all in the head. The numbers in her head. There's a little side dance. Big I jump. I think this girl could challenge 170 today. And she's growing in confidence with each height. That was a spectacular effort. She definitely has, has the pressure off of her now to claim anything else. She doesn't have anything to prove, but she's now showing that she can go high if they want to take her there. Lovely effort. She's in the game in the high jump. Vincent has a third and final attempt coming up at 1.63. Here we go. Pressure moment. She's a 170 jumper. So she'll be leaving quite a number of points if she doesn't go clear. Oh, no, she Hands doesn't. That's on it. The landing bed. That's going to be her, a red flag. The end of her high jumping. And. Uh, leaves 10 centimeters of clearances and the points on the table that's gonna hurt two competitors remaining in the heptathlon girls high jump gianna paul of trinidad and tobago and the vincentian samaya connell who has already produced a personal best 1.63 meters and this is what we talk about when we talk about championship competition and the ability of athletes to peak for the big events and what we're seeing in the high jump is exactly that from the vincentian samaya connell uh i mean it's, it's just amazing to know and to see where and how you have to position yourself in order to get to this level you know being able to transition from off of the ground and getting over this pole and having to put your body in so many different shapes it takes a lot, you know, and a lot of people don't know what we go through as athletes uh, to, just to prepare for these events. So watching this today and seeing the girls perform, I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, they're getting ready to get out their personal best in these events today. It's like, it's fun to watch and I enjoy watching these girls perform today. Yeah, it will be interesting to see what height we go to next. We we're at 145, 148, 151, 153, 155, 160, 160 163. Yeah. Can't track it, can you? And what's critical as well is they're jumping out there one after the other, but you're jumping by yourself, trying to make your stack of points taller and taller and to compensate for any weak event you may have coming down the sequence. So it's 
sprint hurdles, high jump, shot put, 200 on day number one. And they're doing it, they're doing it with a stadium that's not full. I mean, you can hear the fans there. There's a lot of Trinidad fans are still in the stadium right now, and the stadium's kind of quiet and empty, but they're doing it uh, against themselves. They're challenging each other, and they're getting a little push. But, you know, it's always good when you can see you going up against the best on your level. Here's Connell at 1.66 meters. First attempt. The run-up off. Not a lot of conviction from the start. And maybe if she gets that right, she will seriously challenge this height of 1.66 meters. Look up to the stands. There's a pocket of about 30 TNT fans downstairs in their red and black. Not far from where we are watching the games as well. And their horns were on a moment ago. And... Uh, I guess they'll make some more noise if this clearance is successful. Personal best attempt coming up for Gianna Paul of Trinidad and Tobago. Her 1.65 personal best dating back to 2020. Oh. Just go clear first time. Not a bad attempt, but rushed near the end, and uh, maybe the numbers in her head needs to relax. They are the fans I talked about. That's one group of them, maybe 15, 20, 30 people uh, in red, black, and white cheering on their hip tactics in the high jump. They've stayed through lunchtime to give their